Good afternoon, YouTube. <clears throat> so today uh, I got a special delivery from UPS. Uh, these are some 12 and 24 volt PIR sensors that I ordered um, for a DIY gun safe light kit um, that I'm going to be working on in a, diff in a different video. Um, so we're going to open this up, take a look at it, see what it can do. Uh, this one here is a very compact size. Uh, it's got a nice plastic housing on it. Um, and it has a timer from one to 10 minutes and it's adjustable with a little dial. Um, so you can set it to exactly the amount of time you want your output to stay on. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. It comes in a nice clean uh, package. It's got two mounting tabs here for easy installation. Um, I like that uh, all the electronics are covered up with this plastic ABS housing. Um, a lot of the ones that you find on eBay and YouTube or on a, uh, AliExpress and Amazon, uh, they have everything exposed so you have to come up with some kind of housing uh, so you don't shock it with electrostatic. Um, it's got clearly labeled inputs on it. Uh, it's just got two inputs, two outputs, uh, power in, power out. Um, and it's a pretty simple design, which is what I was looking for. Uh, like I said, I'm going to use this in a DIY gun safe light kit. Um, so I'm just going to use this a 12 volt power supply and a five meter roll of white LED sealed strips um, that I can get off of eBay or, or AliExpress. Um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna test this cause I'm curious to know, uh, <clears throat> get this little timer dial back here, how accurate it is. Um, you know, with these cheap Chinese electronics, you never know. I think I paid uh, about seven or eight bucks uh, for two of these. And so I'll, I'll double check the price here shortly, but uh, you know, they're a pretty good deal for what they are. Uh, but we're just going to check out and see how robust they are, uh, what kind of load they can handle. These are advertised to be able to handle, I believe, up to six amps. Yeah, input voltage is 12 to 24 volt DC. Uh, output voltage is 12 to 24 volt DC, so it'll match whatever input that you, you put into it. Uh, max load current is 6 amps, um, and time delay is 1 to 10 minute adjustable. So what I've got here, I'm going to set this one aside. I already have this other one wired up. Um, so what I've done, I put a piece of masking tape around this sensor uh, to keep it from falsely triggering so that it will only trigger when I pass across the top of it. Um, I have it hooked up to my variable power supply with 12 and a half volts going through it. And I have five meters of purple LED hooked up to it just as a test light. Um, since this is about the length of light that I'm gonna be powering in my gun safe. Um, so while we wait for this to turn off uh, so that we can check the timer on it, um, looking at my power supply, it's drawing about 1.16 amps, uh, which is pretty good for 15 feet of 50-50 uh, LEDs, um, especially being a different color <clears throat> Some colors draw more power than others. Should be turning off at any time now. Okay, so it finally turned off. That gave me a chance to double check the price on these. Uh, I paid $12.99, shipped to my door for a pair of these uh, from a U.S. seller, and it was at my door in about three days from the time of ordering. So the LEDs are turned off, my power supply is turned on. Uh, I got my phone here just as a stopwatch. So we'll pass our hand across the top and start the timer. Um, now I have this turned all the way down to one minute. Um, so we'll see at what point it turns off uh, to see how accurate that timer circuit is. Um, for me, I'm not in and out of my gun safe a lot. When I open it up, it's typically to get something out and I know what I'm going for, so I don't need an extended period of time. I just need it to turn on for about a minute or two um, and turn off. So one thing I did notice in testing this sensor is every time it detects motion, it will reset the counter. Um, so it continually adds or, or resets back to a minute, and it's only when it sees no motion in front of the, the PIR sensor um, that it, uh, actually <clears throat> starts the one minute timer and turns off. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we're coming up on about 55 seconds. Should be turning off any second. 
and one minute and one second. Uh, so that timer is is very accurate. Uh, you know, high accuracy is not uh, something that you would expect or even require out of uh, you know a little gadget like this because this is just for DIY projects, uh, stuff you do at home. You know, lighting in your closet or uh, lighting in a gun safe or kind of an inconvenient space. Um, so I'm going to do some more load testing on it. Uh, but right now I don't see an issue uh, off camera. I did hook up a uh, four amp load to this and I watched it switch on and off twice um, without issue, no, no arcing, no uh, noticeable noise um, coming from the, this PIR sensor. So we'll see how it fares in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll put another video together here shortly when my LED strips come in uh, of installing them in the gun safe, getting them uh, solder together, you know, how to make multiple sections on the same string, getting this installed and a power adapter for it. Uh, so I will see you guys next time. We'll see you later.